In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to hydro dip anything that you want. I'm going to break down all the steps, show you all the tools that I use, and my methods of hydro dipping. So step one, you should have something that you're going to hydro dip. Today, I'm going to do a flower pot, another pair of sunglasses, and a canvas. Well, with the canvas, I'm going to put a silhouette in the middle, then hydro dip it, and then peel it off. So it should be pretty cool, but we'll handle that later. So when you have your products that you're going to hydro dip, you can start by priming them. Using a primer before you hydro dip can just make the spray paint soak into the product a lot better. I don't use primer on my canvases, but I'm going to use it with the flower pots and the sunglasses. And to prime up these products, you're obviously going to need the primer and some disposable gloves. And then also, you're going to want to use a mask. I just use one like this, but I prefer one that has air filters. Air filters will just protect your lungs a lot better. So once you have all this stuff ready, you're ready to go prime. So let's go prime these products. All right, now that everything's primed up, we're gonna let that dry. And then while it's drying, I'm gonna go put a silhouette on the canvas. So let me just take y'all with me just so I can explain it a lot better. So I did something similar in my previous video. I put a company logo in the middle, then hydro dipped around it. But this time I'm gonna do a silhouette of my city, put that in the middle and then the hydro dip around it. So it should look pretty cool, but we'll see how it turns out. So all I'm doing is going into Google Slides, cropping the image, making it as big as I can. And then I'm gonna do a test print first to make sure it's the right size. So I'm just gonna print it on regular paper before I put it on the sticker sheet. This is the final product with the silhouette on the canvas. So it should look really cool when you hydro dip everything around it, peel it off and then do a little outline of it, add some small details. So everything's pretty dry. We're gonna hydro dip the pot, hydro dip the sunglasses and the canvas. So after your water is filled up, you're going to want to pick your spray paint colors. I use Rust-Oleum and it's about $4 at Walmart, Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to do three colors for the flower pots. I'm going to do baby blue, a gray, and a black. So you're going to want to put your mask on and just start spraying and creating a pattern. Now when you finish hydro dipping, you don't have to throw out the water. All you do is just push it to the side and it'll absorb onto the plastic. So now you can just start a brand new color without worrying about this color getting on your new product.
now you're basically done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray a clear coat to seal in everything. Make sure you dispose of your hydro depth water properly. 